hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm juliana and in today's video i'm going to talk about my may book for the 12 books for 12 months of 2023 and that book is the copenhagen trilogy by tolti Clebson. this includes infancy youth and dependency so they uh, these are three three books that can be bought separated or you can bought uh, in one volume like this one so this is a portuguese edition uh, so that's why maybe you aren't recognizing the cover but here it has a, a photograph of the author i don't know um how old she was in here totally did Levson is a Danish author and she's a poet she's a prose writer um, and she comes from humble family so humble beginnings in Denmark and in here what we have we have memoirs it's like Almost, um, she are to she are telling us her the story of her life. So in youth, the first book, we get her to talk about that exactly. So her infancy, in a way, no, not in a way, her infancy. So um, her childhood, and she tells us that uh, she had a mom and a dad and she had an older brother i don't know exactly how old let me think maybe four to five years older than her she talks a bit about the relationship she had with her mother that it was a bit um, difficult because her mother was cold and she didn't like children and she didn't she almost didn't want anything to do with Tov uh, she had some behaviors that were a bit uncanny because you know as a mother you suppose you're supposed to be the protector of your child and in some situations she would almost blame Tov for what was happening or what had happened and not like protector or you know what I mean so the relationship uh, became a bit better as long as Tove got older but her mother had always that she's uh, she was a bit, a bit abrupt in the way that she talked I mean, in the way, not in the way, but more of what she said. She was a bit direct, too much direct. And she got to the point with no, like, with no care for if she was hurting the feelings of the person. And so, you know, got used to it and it, she discarded it. When she was younger, she took it very badly we could say because you know she she would get hurt and she would feel she wasn't loved and she you know she she cared for her mother but is it was like her mother didn't care for her and well you get the point so okay so a bit about her father so he worked in a factory but he was many times unemployed and her mother was a housewife and they lived very humbly because they lived in a house with just one room and they slept all together so the the parents and the children Tov and her brother went to school uh, but I think they went till before high school 
I don't know how you call it, because they let her brother go to school till or just before a high school, so they let Tove do the same because they, they thought it wasn't fair if she finished school earlier. But the relationship we told with her father was a bit better because her father was a reader, he was uh, interested in the um, matters of politics and he was a syndicalist. Although her father was interested in politics, Tov wasn't like that and she had some difficulty understanding what her father was talking about. But you know, something that she mentions is that her father never, never beat her. So he was very more tender than her mother. Um, and so the relationship with her brother was good. They had a bit of an argument when she was a bit older. A bit older, like not older. I suppose she, I suppose she was um, like 12 or something, 12, 11 to 12 or, or, or 12 to 13 and he was like 16, 16, 17 um, because Tov uh, really early in her, in her life got interested in poetry and she mentions a memory that she asked her father the meaning of a word like it's similar to hurt and her father thought for a while because she was reading a work by Gorky I don't know the author if you do please let me know in the comments um, and she was mesmerized by that word uh, and her father reflected for a while and he said it was a Russian concept <laughs> that means profound pain or anguish. Uh, and she said that in response that Gorky was a great poet and she also wanted to become a poet. And her father like said to her to stop the divagations and the illusions because uh, women couldn't be poets so and she said offended she closed in her shell while her mother and Edwin her brother left about to her divagation so and she uh, decided that day in in that moment to never reveal to anyone her dreams and it was a decision that she uh, uh, accomplished uh, throughout her childhood. And so she, be she began to, to write poems. She would dream of being a published poet. And it, it began really early, so about the age that I told you. Throughout infancy or childhood, uh, the book um, she will tell very situations with her parents and one situation with her brother that they were home alone and Tov was writing a poem or not was writing, she was um, doing homework and the, her brother told her to go to the room because he wanted to be alone but she she didn't and so he ran to the room and closed the door with uh, violence uh, and after a while she began hearing him laughing and so curiosity with curiosity she went to the room and he see she saw him um taking her notebook and reading her poems and she you know she didn't want anyone to read her poems at least till that point and so she asked him for for him to return the notebook and he he lay down in the bed laughing like 
and he read the poem he was reading out loud and it was about lovers and how they were kissing and so on and he told her she was a liar because you know she didn't have a boyfriend till that point uh, and that she would tell lies in her poems and so you know some things that happen between brothers brother and sister you know she was so offended that she um i now i don't remember exactly what she said but she said something that made him cry and then she repent herself and was like i'm sorry i didn't mean it and he was like in a with a hope in our heart saying that in their house they no one had privacy and he wanted to leave his uh, their parents house when he was 18 because he wanted to live alone where he had privacy you know she she shared the feeling because in youth so during youth the book of youth um, she tells uh, more a bit about that feeling as well as her brother so as she got older and she was like 15 um, she became more and more afflicted by the feeling that she wanted to have her own space and to be able to write and to have her things and not be perused by her mother or anything and so in her youth well we also get to understand not only in the book of youth but um she tells us that uh, she didn't consider herself to be beautiful and she always thought that she was different from other children and other young people and she she always thought she didn't she didn't belong and she didn't have many friends so she had one friend or one close friend uh, another girl um i think ruth it was her name and she, they, she, Ruth was adopted by her family, uh, but her parents were not were very nice to her. But she had the posture that um, was a bit rebellious, and she had the courage of doing things that Tov didn't have, and so Tov liked to be with her and to. Um, talk to her and so on um, so they did things like steal from stores and run away so Tov never would have the courage to do that alone but with Ruth she would do that and because she was with her uh, and they will laugh after so she will tell you know that in when they were in groups of other girls and they were talking about having a boyfriend to get married to do this and that when in the future thinking in the future and sh they were talk all about boys and how he was cute or you know and you know sh the the thing that she would hear from her girlfriends and from her mother and other older people would be that she would have to get um, a husband that will have a good job a stable job in a factory or something so she would be sustained by him and Tove will say to us she mentions this like a few times during the book all, all the times that she mentions it she tells us that she didn't think like that she didn't want a stable husband she didn't want li that life for her herself she wanted to get out of where she was because you know she understood that they were poor and they were living like because she she tells that there was a time during her childhood that they starve they didn't have money to get food or enough food at least to eat 
So she she passed for she she passed through difficult times and she knows what it is to live in poverty but at the same time she didn't want that ideal of those women for herself she had her own ideas and her own desires and so then she she tells us um that she had a like a period in her life where she tried to be an actor in theater with a, a small group you know a humble group um and she she tells her how the 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 piece went like how they got first um portraying the the play and she was playing an old woman so so she had a wig and everything it was supposed to be a comedy and something happens that makes the people the yes the people laugh it wasn't supposed to happen but after that the director of the play was so satisfied with her representation or with her acting or at least with what happened that it it got in a newspaper a critic in a newspaper even and so he wanted to make her the first role in another play but at that time she had knew another girl so in here she was a bit older like maybe 15 or something um, and he, she got um, offended like how can you do can you make Tov the first lead like that's unthinkable or something and she went off and so Tov in solidarity went off as well and went after her and so that was the end of her um, theater theater times but before that so she leaves school she she ends her school years and she begins working and um so she had to do she had to to give um help like with a portion of her salary to her parents but she tells her first job it was to be a nanny and how that went it was so curious and so funny because it went all wrong and she all she only um, stayed there for one day uh, and then she had to move from to another job and so she tells us I suppose like three jobs three to four jobs that she had um, through her youth you know she tells her a bit about her day-to-day -day in her jobs and how she was being suffocated because it wasn't anything that she wanted to do what she really wanted to do was to write then she how what how was it so she you know now I don't remember exactly but she had some connections that guide her to an editor and so she um, write to him and uh, send him some poems of her I think it was for I think it was a book publisher a book editor yeah but you know she got her hopes um, high but something happens that um, I don't want to tell you because although this is memoirs um, and this is not a fiction book so the spoilery part is a bit um, you know whatever but I think it is fun to read and to discover what happened in our life um, by yourself and um, so something tragic happens and so her hopes you know are dismantled I don't remember another word I'm sorry um, and 
so the possibility of her being a published author go to land so die right there and a few years later she was out with a friend in um in what we can say perhaps a club or at least a place where young people got together and she was talking to this young man and she was in a in a impt is that a word i suppose it is she told him she was a poet and he told her he told her that she he also wrote some things and she in you know she saw there a possibility and she asked him if he knew someone to whom she could um, send her poems to be published and he um, directed her to a man uh, Vigo F something that he was an editor of a newspaper she sent as well a letter to him but now she is like I'm hoping that nothing happens that will spoil this um, and she she gets to to have one of her poems to be published and so this is the beginning of her journey as a published author uh, she gets good critics in her poem about her poem it was about a miscarriage so she never got pregnant till that point but you know she will talk about things that would happen to other girls that she knew to other other people that she knew so other experiences and other um, yes other experiences uh, not really related to her own, own life or herself um, you know as a as a writer it is and then we got to I left many things out so please don't think that this is this only it that happens many things happen so and um, the way that she tells her story is really funny because it is in long paragraphs well I can show you so like this you know in the same line or something like that so and she doesn't dwell in the story so she tells the main point and she goes she passes to another story or to another part of the story so uh, I thought it was really well thought out the way she wrote this and so we pass to um, dependency so her last book um, and in here she will tell, tell us um, the relationships that she had with some men um, and how she got pregnant um, how she got abortions and you will understand why she got the abortions and you know it was illegal in uh, Denmark um, but so you will read how she got to have someone to do the abortion uh, and her story all around it and it is because a connection a connection not a connection like um, because she's she she gets married and she promises and her husband also promises her to never cheat I don't like this word I know I don't know how to pronounce it uh, each other uh, and but you know there's um, a moment that she does and it is with a, a doctor a medic she got pregnant and she doesn't know who the child is from so he's if from her husband or from this doctor and she gets to she wants to do an abortion and so she contacts the doctor again because you know he was a doctor so he, he perhaps knew how to do these things um, and she it's the beginning because the an, an, an anesthetic I think that's how you say it 
that he gives her to do the procedure, the procedure um, is really strong and she gets a feeling of happiness, she explains. Um, a feeling that she never felt before uh, and it's like she she gets zened out and she goes she goes to sleep of course but she gets a feeling that she never she never felt and it's like she's well she's happy she's uh, relieved and uh, from day point after just from that experience she didn't wa she did, she wanted to um, feel that feeling again and again and again and so what happens after that it's a, a spiral of events that will lead her to dependency so she will be an addict and we understand that this doctor was not well um, as well um, and we'll, you will get what I'm talking about if you read the book of course and so we get to her you you get her to explain her life after that and what happened that got her to a point that she had to go to a rehabilitation clinic and her life after the rehabilitation and what happens and who she meets and well she ends up the book saying that throughout her life after that point she she never got over her addiction fully because she she would have moments that she would feel that urge to take the pills or to take the drug you know um but well a bit about i i i stumbled uh, a bit of of the story so you may be curious about her journey as a writer so when she was with vigo f the first editor of that newspaper the first no the second editor of the newspaper from that published her poem she got married to him but that relationship didn't uh, took too long but as she was with him because you know there's here um, a person that she knew that told her one day that every single person wanted something from another person and that was okay and so she never forgot that and she took that and she took her she took that to, through her life and you know with this Vigo F um, she got he was uh, a man that w had a stable job and, you know she didn't want it but she ended up to to do that she got she had time because she she stopped working and she had time to write her poems and write her first novel uh, and she got to publish it with the help of this Vigo F. Not at first try, but she eventually got published and she got well received by the critics and so she becomes to be famous. So we, we get here a glimpse of how your talent in doing anything at all or something at least um, can get up, can get um, you out of a bad situation. Of course, she get she got help. She do, she didn't do this alone, and of course she connected with the person. Firstly, because she got she got the feeling that this person understood her in a way that other people never understood her, but also she admitted in some point um <clears throat> speaking to another person that she got married to him uh, of interest of her own interest to be published because he was a bridge to an other contacts and other connections with people that could publish her 
or publish her work. And after that, we get her to be published to publish another novel. But during her period when she was uh, under drugs, um, we get her to be far away from writing, far away or at least in periods, because she had periods where she would she would only write if she was under the effect of the drugs. So we have here, uh, um, you know. She got herself out of a bad situation, but she got into a bad situation. Um, and yeah, this book was um, a pleasure to read. It was my first, in first endeavor in some writings of Dr. Dick Levson. I heard firstly um, in channels, another sh uh, uh, in other channels, YouTube channels of other booktubers. I saw this everywhere in a point in time. And, you know, about the, what they were saying uh, of the book and some reviews that I saw about the book, I got very interested. And so I, I bought it and, um, and I bought it a while ago, but um, it was it had to wait because I had other books um, in line. But I really, really enjoyed it. The way that she tells her, as I was said, as I said before, she doesn't dwell in the story, so you won't get bored in any point. At least my opinion and my experience, um, you won't get bored in any part of the book. Her life is interesting, sad. And you will, the part when she talks about her drug addiction is really disturb, disturbing, well, yes, disturbing, because you see almost her destruction. And in a way it was, because this isn't a spoiler, this is about um, her life and how she died. So she, she committed suicide when she was 58 years old, it says in here. So, of course, in this book, you may understand some points of her life. And I would say her drug addiction didn't help. Um, but I don't know the details or perhaps the reasons of why she committed suicide, so I won't, tr I won't say anything about it. I think that um, all artists are a bit, um, or at least in old days, we thought like that. They were doomed, like a, a black cloud would got on top of them because is, it was like they weren't from this world, they weren't from this time. They were expecting always something to get out of the ordinary. I suppose that nowadays um, the mentalities have changed a bit. And of course, the, um, the life itself has changed as well. But you know, talking about poverty, it... <laughs> It exists nowadays, even in developed countries. So you get here um, an experience and a, a narrative, or um, how do you say, a story of a lifetime or of a life experience of someone that passed and experienced many layers of society because she got to she came from below and she she got to um, experience and to contact with different people through her life uh, in different states of financial power you know so very interesting i i really advise you to pick this up it all is always interesting to to read and to Yes, to read about uh, uh, the life and experiences of other people. 
So she was born in 1970, 17, I'm sorry, um, for you to have an idea, because she talks here about the Second World War, you know, it was during her youth. So I really advise you to pick this one up. I'm, now I'm really curious to read her poems and read her prose works. Um, I follow a booktuber in particular that she's really... Um, she dive in in the works of Tovdi Plevsen. I'm really curious to hear more about her thoughts on her, her works. Um, I'm sorry, I twist my, my tongue sometimes. Um, and yeah, I hope you pick this one up. I hope I, through this review, I gave you um, a spark of um, wanting to pick this, this book up. Well, when I pick other works from Toby Plevson, I'm sure I will bring to the channel. So wait for it. Uh, and, but I think in Portugal we only have this one translated, so I will have to read in English at least. I, I, all, I already researched some works and even in English, I don't know why, I don't find many. I don't know, because she here talks about her first novels and she, she tells us the title and I didn't find them. I didn't find them, so I don't know what is happening or if she, maybe some works of her, even in, in English, aren't available, but you know, we'll get to it when we get to it. So yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Don't forget to press the ring bell button to all so you can receive all my notifications. Leave a like, it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And I see you on the next one.